Okay, welcome back. Let's quickly learn how to import image into our HTML page. So this is our general folder. Now when we open it, so this is the folder we are actually working on. My first code. So let's open it too. So after we have opened my first code, it is not that my first code that we want to import another file now. So you come to plus here, then you import file. So it takes you to different things you can pick from. So let's say I want to pick this. Let me pick this, okay? So it has imported it. Just click on it and rename it. To a name you can easily remember. So let me rename it to, let's say, web class. So you can name it anything. Because it's poster for this class. So that's why I just choose webclass.jpg then rename so now it is here okay let's now open our first code.html and then to use image to import image uh your first bracket then img it's here but i don't like choosing so that you can get used to typing everything yourself so then you close it back so this one doesn't have closing tag also, but it has attributes. It is the attributes we use to define everything you actually want there. So the first attribute you need to give to it is source, SRC, then equal to with quotation. So this source, SRC means where to get what you want to display from. I get now. So what is the source? So the source now here, in my own case, it's web class dot jpeg dot jpeg jpg. So it depends on all, how your jpg and uh, jpeg is spelled. Though some will be spelled as jpeg. So make sure you spell it correctly here. Dot jpeg, and that is it. Let's save it and then check it here. Wow, you see it? But it is too big. So we need to define the width and the height we actually want. So to define that, you come back here after your source. Okay, but before we do that, there is something else that is very important. That is very important for image. We call it art. So it's an alternative. This alternative works in case anything is wrong with your image. In case anything is wrong with your image and it's not going to show on your page, so that the page will not be blank, then whatever you write inside here is what is going to show on your page if something is wrong with your image. Okay, so alternative, let me choose. Um, this is our poster. This is our poster. This is our poster. Okay. Then let me save and view it. You're not going to see that here now because our image is still okay. Okay, let me quickly misspell the name of the image now. So I've changed it to week instead of web class. Okay, save it. Since there is no image saved under this folder as uh, we class so it's not going to show the image it said it's going to show this so let's check wow is it working yes you must have been loading some uh, website page and you will realize that instead of the image or something to show probably because of network they will just show you some words so that is how it was being made so this is our poster now when i spell it correctly and network is good so it's going to show us what we need to see there and that is our image but it is too big so let's let's size it now so still in between this bracket of image so come to width so you write width w i d t h and your equal to with quotation mark so how many pixel do you want it to be so let's Use 100 pixel and check it. 100 pixel, you save it and then view it. What is working? Yes, it is working. 
so it's now of a moderate size it depends on how you want it you can also define the height in case you don't want it to be very high so you come here you write height so it depends on you anyway you want the highlight say we want it to be a bit taller than the width longer than the width rather so let's choose like 150 pixel so because the image i choose before is square so it's still moderate there but in this case now if i choose 150 pixel so it's going to change it from being a square shape to rectangle so save and then view it wow can you see now beautiful right so go and try your own and let me see see you in the next class